Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. My name, as always, is Taylor Quayle, and we're going to take a look at a 2021 Jayco J Flight Octane 255 tra Travel Trailer Toy Hauler today. Now, this thing is 29 feet long overall from tip to tip, not including the deck in the back, which you'll see here in a second. And then it is about 9,500 pounds loaded, so you could pull this with a half ton. Let's give it the four corners look, check out some of the compartments, then we'll jump inside. As you can see here, the optional deck is set up. Got your two steel cables to make this work. And this, you can fit about 1,500 pounds on this deck, or they call it 10 people. Well, in America, that may be a little bit less than 10 people. But a great little feature. I love the decks on these things. Unfortunately, no awning above the deck, but you do have an area prep for a backup camera. Now, what you're hearing right there is gonna be your 4,000 watt generator. And this, up being a toy hauler, of course, does have a fuel station. It's a little bit different floor plan. You have a bedroom slide on this coach, and I love the bedroom for it, especially for this size of a unit. Up front, you do have an electric hitch and a light, a couple propane tanks, and then, of course, your battery right there. Your weight, like I said, 9,500 pounds. Uh, cargo carrying capacity, 2118. So doing some math, what is that, 73, 92, something like that? 82, 73, 82? All right, so that is the exterior, nothing too crazy. Let's start looking at some of the compartments here. So first up, sewer hose. Water heater. Back of your refrigerator, back of the furnace. 30 amp power service. Cable hookups, water hookups, potable water, outdoor shower. And then moving on down, you got your fuel fill and then your fuel dispenser right there and your shut off. Tires on here, 4620. They are original Goodyear's, but they, you know, they're only a couple years old. A couple stab jacks in the back. It does have a ladder to go up to the roof, which it does actually have a solar panel up there, which is an option. So let me jump up there and show you. All right, here's the top of that roof. See your awning. Awning does extend a bit further. I just didn't have room with the fence, and you can see that. Zoom in for you. Solar panel. Very nice. And this ladder does fold up to go nice and seamless with that fiberglass exterior. So you do have a little gate here, a little fence, a little door that you can swing open and close. Now you do have to have a decent jump to get up in there, and let, if you don't have a little step ladder. All right, now on the passenger side, starting from the rear, you can see your awning here. We'll go out a good amount further. It does have a nice, can you see that LED strip up there? A couple little vents for the garage, manual crank. Should be a couple power hookups here. And then you don't get a super big storage in this coach that passes through but this thing is actually not too bad of a storage you know for what it is for how big it is it's actually quite tall decently deep like i said not a pass through but definitely better than nothing and that is the exterior of this j flight octane let's jump inside now of course how can we not start from the back so first up I did set up the couches here. These are pretty cool. They will lay flat, they will turn into a sleeper, and they will go vertical and go flat up against the wall, which is nice. So you can flatten them out, put them all the way up so you could put a toy in here. And then to turn it into a bed, wrap that bad boy around. Do the same on the other side. Bam, you got yourself a massive sleeping area. Now, once again, you do also have that drop down queen up here. We'll come down with a push of a button by releasing those little holders right there probably wondering where the uh dinette is usually they have a hole right here for the dinette table but in this coach right behind these two little swivel recliners you do have a pop-up desk just lift up and it latches now these recliners you can completely move them if you do have toys in here they will let's try and get it with one hand there we go they will recline and they will it's a little aggressive, but they will extend, which is very nice. So 
quite comfortable. You can figure out a way to get comfy in there. You can set it up so you can see TV that you mount right there perfectly. All right, let me put this on pause really quick and get this set back up. All right. So right when you walk in, here is your entry door. Right when you walk into the left, you have this little panel up here, which is very cool. You can select multiple things, awning, slide control. You can, you got your AC on here, generator control, pair some devices, level testers, water pump, all that fun stuff. And then up there, you got your fuel gauge for that fuel fill. Now, one thing I really like about this, if you've noticed these cabinets, yes, they're a little small, but they're very high up. So, you know, you're not gonna be dealing with cabinets in the way of a toy going in here. They all should be connected into one. Very nice. Your shades, just standard kind of blackout shades, nothing too crazy. And then you do also have, obviously, power and light hookups, but behind this, you do have your window on either side of this coach they can open up more power more ventilation and then of course your kitchen decent amount of counter space in the kitchen for the microwave and then these are always cool probably a pain to set up with one hand not too bad and then my printouts let me show you each one there is your exact floor plan clean bed in the back here is your standard features and options i did highlight some of the actual options that this coach comes with and there's some of the important info you probably want to know about and then finally our sales ad gives you some good info you can see 39.995 29 foot 9500 gbwi three burner furion stoked up with the oven I love the look of these new Furions. A little bit of storage under there if you get around the plumbing. And then you got three drawers just like that. Up above, even more space. Nice little hood with the light and fan. All right, and just right of that is that Norco fridge freezer. This will run off of a three-way fridge. See, storage I can't reach for 100 Trebek. All right. So that's your kitchen. And then, as you can see, it's a pretty unique floor plan for the bedroom. You have one of them, one of them folding beds, so that'll lift up and flip over itself when this slide is in. But very cool when the slide is out. You get a little walkway all the way around. A couple drawers over there. Some storage right there. That's your solar panel controller. All your lights are one touch which is nice and I'll slide over here and show you what we got like I said couple drawers nothing too crazy little vanity and then it's kind of dark in there but you have a little wardrobe you do also have some power hookups right there and then a heat vent under the bed there is a little bit of storage too and then these are to hook in to that if you lift that keep that storage lifted up because of course when that slide comes in that storage does lift up otherwise it'll crash into the bathroom now speaking of the bathroom that is behind that magical door but before that let's look at what your coat hanger i guess or little storage right when you walk in and your irv technologies for your stereo a couple hookups in there like i said tv mount up there generator Look at the hours, 22.4 on it, light controls, and then that is actually run that bed back there. Now you see everything will lift up, we'll keep them down for now. And then finally your bathroom. So a decent amount of room, plenty of room in front of the, the uh, china toilet for your legs, little baby vanity, some storage, and of course your medicine cabinet. Nice corner medicine cabinet for extra storage. There is a little fan in here. Could upgrade that to a fantastic. And then, what is that? A two by three pan? Three by three and a half, maybe? Five glass shower. No skylight, but you can still be pretty tall and fit in there just fine. All right, guys, that's it. That is our 20, 
21 Jayco J Flight Octane 255. 20 or 39,995. 9,500 pounds. One thing I forgot to mention, let's talk about it. Jeez, how could I forget this? So, cargo carrying area right here. That's your ramp assist door. But you do have, it's, let's see, it shows six foot 10 inches for this first area. And then you technically have 14 foot all the way up into this right there. As you can see, tie downs go pretty far into the coach. Now, one thing you just got to keep in mind is your width. You'd have to put the chairs out of there, you know, make sure you have enough width between that kitchen for your toy to get in and out of it. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll put a link to our website down in the uh, con or description box down below, including all my contact info. So if you do have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do for you. Thank you so much for viewing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope everyone has a great day.